Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Ulysse Norden Marine Diver Chronograph. 43 millimeters in 18 karat yellow gold. You can see this full bracelet, yellow gold, marine chronograph on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there if you like, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. On my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this is an oversized sports watch. Not grossly, but 43 millimeters across the round of the case, a robust 54 from extremity of end piece to extremity of end piece, and 16 millimeters thick. This isn't a timepiece that's going to disappear under the cuff, and considering the combination of gold to top gold to top gold, chances are it wasn't a watch ever intended to fit under a sleeve. Not intended to be obscured in any way, in fact. But what I can convey, beyond the physical dimensions and the impression on my 16 centimeter wrist, is how massive this timepiece is. This is one of the heaviest watches I've ever experienced. Eyes closed, I would have guessed platinum. And that's simply because the construction is so solid. You can see the depth of the lugs. They're massive. They're not pared down in any way. You can see that broad bezel. 18 karat yellow gold, there's no insert atop aluminum or atop steel, it's gold through and through, and likewise the bracelet constructed like a modern Rolex bracelet, all solid links, very heavy. Combined with a double deployant clasp, there's a ton of precious metal here. If you've ever want, wanted that defining feel of a truly hefty, premium luxury watch, the watch that is simply insistent upon its presence on your wrist and never lets you forget just how much value you're wearing. I hate to say that's the appeal of this watch, but that's definitely part of the package. This is a massive watch. And I'll also say that while some have said that this is the Russian watch, uh, allegedly an allusion to certain market tastes, I don't get that, but what I do get is something else Russian. Not tastes, but tanks. This thing on the wrist weighs as much as a T-34 tank, and it's very impressive. But I will say that the finishing of the bracelet is superb. Now you can see, like the best of the modern Rolex Oysters, there's a pared down channel between each one of the links where they abut each other, so it will not pinch skin, it will not pull hair. It has impressive finish where it counts from an ergonomic perspective, allowing the skin to breathe and relieving any kind of stress or strain that the weight of the bracelet might otherwise cause. And you can see that there's clever use of contrasting finish here. Although it is all yellow gold, and there is a lot of it, polish down the center links and a brushed finish down the shoulder links gives it a little bit of articulation in conjunction with the many fluted character lines that add complexity, strength, and visual interest to the bracelet itself. So while it is all yellow gold, it's not monotone and it's not monotonous. The case, as mentioned before, is massive, with a number on the side like the old Ulysse Norden marine chronometers, and you can see the pusher adjuster for the date at 6 o'clock. You can also see the watch features the characteristic 2007 to present marine diver chronograph dial. So multiple layers. You can see the indices applied in 18 karat yellow gold around the periphery of the dial. There is a chapter ring calibrated for minutes and seconds about the outside with a blue base and white print. And then you can see that elaborately layered sub-registers, constant seconds at 9 o'clock and chronograph minutes at 3. So this dial has a great deal of depth and it has a great deal of nuance. There's also a sunburst silver pattern radiating out from center. So as this watch glitters in the sun, so does the dial. There's a beautiful rubber insert within the 18 karat yellow gold bezel and as elaborate as the watch is, if your name is, say, Tony Stark, I've got a watch for you. The all-purpose adventure watch for the Jet Set International Playboy does conform to ISO 6425, so it is a true dive watch. You can see the unidirectional rotating bezel, constant seconds indicator at 9 o'clock. You can see the pearl in the bezel and water resistance to 200 meters or 660 feet. Now, the watch features a Valju 7750 of exceptional grade. When I've hacked this one and taken a look, it does feature the higher grade balance. and. The watch features elaborate Ulysse Norden specific finishing standard with a gorgeous guilloche atop a 22 karat gold winding rotor, perlage across the base plate, circular Cote de Genève across the bridges and blued screws. It's a beautiful rendition on the tank tough. There's that word again, Valju 7750 architecture. And it does feature 27 jewels, automatic winding, unidirectional for greater efficiency, and a 44 hour power reserve. It's the perfect timekeeper for a utility watch with a heart of gold. You can see this unique Ulysse Norden Marine Diver Chronograph 18 karat yellow gold 43 millimeters on our website watchyouwant.com.